everybody welcome to my channel in today's video I want to show you exactly how to hook up your air driven compressor to your dental unit if you want to know how to do that stay tuned so I assume you already bought your compressor and your dental unit and now you will need one more little detail that I actually have a video on how I set up my entire compressor for bench test prep but I, I actually forgot to mention this tiny little bolt that I thought came with the compressor but I was actually wrong I forgot that I purchased it separately it's a tiny little thing it is called brass barb it is five dollars on amazon it's very cheap you can buy it anywhere you can buy it in home depot they are very widely used and you need the specific one that i will link down below that is three to 16 inches once you purchase that thing you basically have everything so let's start with step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect your unit to your compressor it all starts with the unit and i wish i could show you how i actually do it in real life but it's so tight that I physically don't have strength to, if I separate it right now, I will never connect it again. So let me just show you how I did it. This bolt was attached to this part of the dental unit. You have to unscrew the bolt like so and connect this tube that comes together in a kit with the dental unit and attach this tube on this piece of the unit over here. You have to push it very well you have to push it very well until this part becomes slightly fatter to make sure it seats very strongly because the pressure of the air is strong and it would plop this thing right out if you didn't connect it correctly after this is done you put this bolt on this tube like so on the other end of the tube you push it all the way here and you screw it right in and there you go this is connected now step two will be to connect the brass thing that I just showed you that we bought to the compressor. This is the brass thing. This tiny little small thing is the brass thing that was missing from your compressor. So you have to connect it to this golden part. They're the same color and you just push it right in. Then you use the tube. This is the tube that you just connected to this part of your dental unit. And you need to push the tube into the side part of that brass thing. I know my terms are not very scientific, but how in the world would you call this blobbies? I'm not a technician, I'm a dentist, so I'm just trying to figure it out just like we all do. So once these things are connected, you're pretty much all set. Don't forget to adjust the pressure of your compressor because it will burn your handpiece. It shouldn't be more than about 50. Let me see how much of mine. The air pressure of my compressor at about 55 right now. So this is pretty much how my compressor is hooked up. This is what I did and I didn't need anything else. Some people recommend some Teflon tape so the air wouldn't leak out. I didn't have any problems with air leaking out before. I did start having it now, but I do think because it's kind of an old unit and I hear the air leaking out right now. So I feel like the Teflon tape would solve the issue because I can feel that it's coming right out of this b brass blob thing that I just connected to it. So maybe the Teflon tape would be um, a solution for you if you have a similar issue. Otherwise, I didn't use any other tools. Everything I needed to connect my comp compressor to the dental unit. Um, there are plenty of videos on the internet. You can just Google how to connect the air compressor. Um, if you have any more questions, and I think I will li link one down below because I found a good one. Another thing that I want to mention with this compressor is to make sure to drain the valve uh, once a day. There's this black knob. This is a drain, and you have to do it after every time you use your compressor. Once you're done for the day, just drain the air in here. It's a safety thing. I have no idea why people tell them tell me to do it and I do it but when you do drain it and that's for people who have carpets it does sometimes leave this oily rusty stain on the carpet that does not come out so if you live in a rental apartment put something underneath the drain so it wouldn't hurt you another thing that I wanted to mention when you do drain the compressor it makes a horrible horrible noise so I use some noise canceling headphones because after a few times I figured that I would go completely deaf if I didn't use these so this is everything I wanted to tell you about connecting my compressor to my dental unit and I hope you find it helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye!